Well, hello everyone, Dog Walker Dave here. Today on the channel, I'm going to do something completely different from running, hiking, trail running, and dog related stuff. In the next couple of days, I'll be taking our youngest daughter down to Southern Illinois in the US, which is going to be a 6,000 kilometer round trip road trip. And we'll take about three days to go the 3,000 kilometers on the way down and we'll stay in hotels, make a great little road trip for her going to be staying there for a couple of days get her settled in university and then on my way back I'm going to be by myself of course 3,000 kilometers I'm looking at about five days worth to come back because I'm going to take my time and try to run in every single state on the way back so I could be running eight or nine different states over five days maybe ten depending on the route I take back from southern Illinois what I've decided is that I want to try this whole car camping thing the last time I did this was probably 30 some years ago when I was in my 20s. And the reason I want to try this is that when Margo and I go out for some of these early morning adventures out in the mountains or I go up by myself, sometimes it would be nice to stay the night after we do our long hikes or trail runs, or instead of getting up at zero dark o'clock in the morning, we can go out the night before and then sleep out the night before so that we can get up nice and early in the morning we don't have to get up at three o'clock or four o'clock or anything like that. And then we can get on our way and do our hike from there. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you my car camping setup in a Toyota Matrix. And this is a trial run for me to see if not only if I like it, but if it actually works and maybe if I can convince my wife that, hey, this is something that we might wanna try. So here's how I have it all set up. The thing I love about this Matrix is that the back seat folds completely flat. And with that, if I put the front seat forward all the way on both sides, I'm only gonna try it the one side for my road trip. But if I put the front seat forward, I am six feet tall and I can fit the entire length of the back seat and the trunk combined. One of the things I had to do was put a tote bin, plastic bin underneath in front of the back seat so that it extends this platform a little bit longer. And then I have one of the dog beds as a nice little cushion in the front. So now I have a completely flat surface that I'm able to sleep on. Now that it's flat, put a yoga mat down, put a thermo rest down, or if I had the double arrangement, I could put an air mattress or a nice foam cushion mattress in the back, put my sleeping bag down, and I'm all set up for my sleeping. Now, the next thing I had to solve is all of the windows. So here's what I did with all the windows. And if you have any suggestions on what I might do to improve this system, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. First thing I did is that I have these really weird shaped windows that were kind of a pain to work with. And I tried many times to get something to work, but I found this blackout film that cost $15 for a roll. I wasted about half of the roll trying to figure this out, but I ended up putting the blackout roll it's an electrostatic, it just sticks to the window. That's for the back windows. See how that works. My $15 purchase for two of them from Amazon, I ended up getting four. These little mesh things that pop over the windows, fits the vehicle very well for when I sleep. And what this does is, uh, first of all, it darkens it a bit. It's not fantastic, because you can actually see through it a bit, but you can roll down the windows keeps all the mosquitoes and bugs out. So I have four of these, two for the back windows and two for the driver and passenger doors. And the last two pieces of this puzzle, these were the most pain in the rear to deal with. The window in the back, it's got the light system, of course, and it has this bump out for the rear windshield wiper. It's kind of a weird setup. So what I ended up doing is just, I have landscape fabric at home, fold it, it over, and then I'm just gonna jam it in there just for when I'm sleeping. And I'm going to do the same thing for the front windshield. I know you can buy the thermal reflector things that you can stuck, stick in the front windshield, but I want to go as cheap as possible because it might not end up working out for me. That's why I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. Total I spent on the whole thing, about $50 Canadian. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Yeah, it's not perfect especially the front windshield. Got to figure out a better system for that. I'll probably take along some duct tape because hey, it works. Back windshield. Of 
Not a perfect system here, but it works. And from the inside. Thanks for watching everyone. I think it's going to work for me. If you have any suggestions, like I said, I'd love to hear from you. Drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned to the channel for my 3000 kilometer road trip on the way back. I'm not gonna film anything on the way down there, but on the way back, I'll capture some footage, let you know how it is along the way. Thanks for watching everyone. Get outside.